All right, the YOT was this weekend, and we have Deckless from it. So for those of you that don't know, it's actually a really major scale event. Uh, I believe across the Asia region. I don't believe Japan has these. I could be wrong about that. But this is the equivalent to a rather large event, and we actually have a big deck list from this event. Ludridi helped me put these together for this event. So once again, thanks Ludridi for always helping me with these cool decks. So the first one we're going to be looking at is a top 64 Mech Knight list. Now, considering Todd Cut was 14 Orcus, 13 Salamandrate, 6 Ultra Geist, 6 Thunder, 5 Trickstar, 5 Zephyr, 4 Subterra, uh, 4 of the new uh, Burn uh, for Mashudo, the one that abuses Chain Burn. Uh, we have 3 Mech Knight, 1 World Chalice Burning Abyss, which we'll get to in a second, Invoked Magician, Sky Striker, and 1 Zombie. Um, so, interesting to see that Sky Striker won the event, by the way, which is that one, the only one Sky Striker player in the room won. That's hilarious to me. So, there's a little bit of love for our friends in the Mech Knight department who actually need all of the love they can get. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom, two copies of DD Crow, and one Effect Veiler. We have triple copies of a Fantastical a Dragon Phantasmi. We have two copies of the Turtle, triple copies of Maxi. We have triple copies of Mech Knight Blue Sky, one copy of Indigo Eclipse, and triple of the Purple Nightfall, along with one Red Moon, one copy of the Yellow Star, and Triple Phantom Sky Blaster with the one copy of Abram. I'm actually check this out. I'm actually really happy to see that the like this card is seeing play in today's game. And we have two copies of Called by the Grave, one copy of Harvey's Feather Duster, two copies of Instant Fusion, two copies of Mind Control, two copies of Pot of Desires, triple copies of World Legacy's Memory, triple copies of Infinite Impermanence, two copies of World Legacy's Secrets. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Security Dragon, one purple or, uh, Spectrum Supreme, two copies of the Morning Star, one copy of the Crusadia Astram, so it's two monsters of special summon from the extra deck. If this card was linked, summoned, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Also, your opponent cannot target other monsters, other for a deck, yeah. Once per turn, your damage calculation is card battles, a special summon, monster quick effect. You have this card gain attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster it's battling during damage calculation only. And if this link summon card you control sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card, you shuffle one card on the field into the deck. Uh, I actually, this is probably one of the best link monsters in the game, and I'm actually looking forward to seeing when the TCG gets this. Uh, we have one copy of Link Rebo, two Spideys, one copy of Phoenix, one copy of Needle Fiber, one Boral Sword, one Boral Load, one copy of the Black Cluster Soldier, the Chaos Warrior. Actually, it, it's... <sighs> It's interesting to see that this card sees play, but I understand it's actually pretty good. Uh, we have one copy of Thousand Eyes Restrict, one Sea Monster Theseus. Side deck, we have two copies of Lancia, two copies of Brankatops, two copies of Effect Veiler, two copies of Forbidden Chalice, triple Twin Twister, triple Different Dimension Ground, and one copy of Heavy Storm Duster wrapping up this bad boy. But I will say, you know, it is really cool to see that Mech Knights actually got the chance to do something. Even in a format where, you know, they're post-new ban list and post-new set and they're abusing things like Avram, like, I think this is a step in a very interesting direction um, in the game, especially as we head into this format ourselves. I mean, looking at the numbers, like, Orcust and Salamangrate dominated this event, and it definitely proved uh, that, one, Sky Strikers aren't meant to be counted out. Uh, Mashudo Burn is also very interesting. We already know how the TCG is going to abuse that. Like, it's, that's just a horrible mistake for printing that card. But, you know, that's that's topic for another day. Now, oh, this is the World Chalice Burning Abyss Rongo deck that made top cut. And you're probably looking at this and going, what the fuck? I absolutely agree with you. So this is a deck that, of course, the OCG still has Rongo Ruminian. It's actually interesting because this hasn't been that much of a problem over there. Uh, the TCG has definitely gone down a path of exploiting more broken cards than the OCG has. And I, it definitely goes to show. And of course, they do have Maiko, which, I mean, let's be honest here, Maiko is incredibly broken as she is. So extra or er, deck time so we have two copies of ash blossom one copy of cow cab one copy of carbon nenon so if this card battles fire monster uh will gain a thousand attack only i uh, banish this card from grave or summon from your deck one level seven or lower dragon type normal monster hmm hmm i uh i like this two copies of reclusia for linking and taking care of problem cards 
Uh, we play the triple copies of Draconet because one card normal summons at starter deck are beautiful. I don't... Why does this exist? Literally normal summon Draconet, bring out, you know, whatever you need. This guy, go into Myko, Myko, get to add a World Legacy card. Like, what... What incarnation are we thinking here? We have one copy of Farfa, two copies of Gilosaurus, one copy of Graf, two copies of Junk Forward, one copy of Lee, one copy of Mathman, two copies of Psychic Tracker, triple cop or two copies of Wielder, one copy of Recover, one copy of Rubik, one copy of Overraptor, one Takum Tumborg, one Terratop. Man, the innovation here is crazy. We have one Ancient Cloak, one Silent Boots, one Tour Guide, one Guard Dragon. Triple copies of World Chalice, of course. Two copies of Beckoned by the World Chalice. One copy of Chosen by the World Chalice. One Flamville Guard. One Justia. We have triple copies Called by the Grave. Two Itali. One Foolish Barrel. Two Fossil Dig. Triple copies of Magical Midfield Breaker. Yeah, see, look at this. At one. <laughs> so sad. We have one Monster Reborn. One Salt Charge. Triple copies of Unexpected Guy. Uh, one Guard Dragon, one Succession. We have triple copies of Red Reboot, and one copy of Shade Brigadine. Now the extra deck down here we have one Rusty Tin Gan, one Owl Mirage, one copy of Anima, one Imduck, one copy of Needle Fiber, one Shiribini, one Boral Sword, one Just Beat It, one copy of Aram, one copy of Brick Sword, of course your Wind Condition, and Wind Condition Helper. We have one copy of uh, Martial Metal Marcher one copy of the Myko, and one Boral Savage Dragon. Side deck, we have one Barbar, two Ghost Bell, triple Maxi, triple Gamma, one Driver, one copy of Ningrisu, triple Anti-Magic Arrows, and one Harpy's Feather Duster. Wrapping us up, actually pretty cool to see that uh, this is back in seeing play, but man oh man, this is a clusterfuck if I've ever seen it. I actually think it's really cool that the OCGs innovated something on this level. Because uh, it definitely goes to show that they're cool deck ideas still out there. So yeah, I will give it up. OCG, definitely intriguing my interest. Alright, now we have the winning Sky Striker list. Ah, man. Poor Sky Striker in the OCG. You guys have to go through so much over there. But this does give me hope, seeing that this deck did well, in case of any potential things that get hit in the TCG side. But you have to remember, the OCG still has Needle Fiber. <laughs> Literally. Hi, guy. I'm also glad to see that this deck's playing Avram, and interested to see that Relinquished Anima has been coming up. I actually kind of wish that the TCG would have gotten this eh, a little bit sooner. I actually think it might have been able to change the flow of our game a little bit, but, you know, here we are, stuck in the format we are. Alright, so let's dig on into this bad boy. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom, two copies of DD Crowman, triple copies of Effect of Vanna, triple copies of Maximus Outputs, triple copies of Ray, triple copies of Pot of Desires. Glad to see that Desires has become a staple once again in this deck. We have one copy of Rota, two copies of Area Zero, one copy of Afterburners, one Jamming Whips, one Hornet Drones, two Shark Cannon, two Widow Anchor, triple multi roll, two Engage, one Terraforming, triple Upstart Goblin. Traps, we have triple Imperm, and triple, there can only be one. It's almost like this deck had to evolve and become a stun deck. Shocker. Extra deck, we have triple Shizuku, two copies of Kaina, only one Kagari. Uh, we have triple copies of Hayate, one copy of Relinquished Anima, one copy of Ningrisu, one copy of Astram, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, and one Needle Fiber. Side deck here, we have triple Lancia, one Didi Crow, triple Prankatops, two Ghost Bell, two Cosmic Cyclone, one Feather Duster, and triple Different Dimension Ground, wrapping up this list. So like I said, in a format where Orc Hust and Salamangre are just such dominant forces, and this deck has been literally rammed into the ground on Forbidden and Lemon's list, it doesn't shock me to see that this deck is still doing relatively decent in today's metagame. Um, it just shows that this card might be the appropriate hit. Um, it's also good to see that we've also come away from abusing Pot of Avarice in this deck. Um, I know a lot of the it earlier iterations were playing it. I just kind of think it's too slow. Just, you know, manage your resources, you know, don't get caught with your pants down. And you're not going to have that bad of a time as long as you control yourselves. Guys, please leave a comment down below to what you guys think. Every 
Thursday we do OCG Thursday, and of course, Fridays and Tuesdays are the thing that we all love most on this channel, Cold Market Watch. All right, guys, catch you on the flip side. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.